Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and I have another Let's Look at today. I am taking a look at Card City Knights. So this is a game by Luzosity, who you may know best as the developers of It'll Do, which was kind of a Zelda-like game. So the idea with this game is that they've made a collectible, collectible card game based on like many of the characters from their past games. So if you've played stuff like It'll Do, you'll notice some of their other characters show up in the game. And before we get started here, I actually have an extra copy of the game that I want to give away in the comments. And the way I'm going to do that is if you are interested in receiving the extra copy, just leave a comment telling me about your favorite experience with a collectible card game. And I will, uh, I'll choose my favorite out of the comments, and after 24 hours, I will give it away to that person. So, with that being said, let's get started. So, continuing our trend of, uh, very good indie games being released on, um, on Steam on Valentine's Day, this also came out last night. So going to get started here. Alright. Dear citizen, here's a little housewarming gift from the Big Chest Casino. Enjoy. Well, that's what it says on the deck of cards. I just got moved in today, but I don't know anyone in town. Huh? There's strange noises on the street outside. So, there is kind of this cool, uh, sort of like, I guess it reminds me of uh, Professor Layton, if you've played that on the DS, where you can click around and, and get some coins. But, let's go out and talk to Fishbun here, and he says, Berk. What the, is this guy challenging me to a card game? Pfft. Oh, it's on. Let's see what the card game manual has to say. So here we're gonna learn the rules, and as far as card games go, it's it's fairly simple, which I like. So here's the tutorial. So we each have a number of defense, and the game is over when someone's defense reaches zero, or if they can't play any more cards. So we can form combos using our attack cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Ren right there. They're going to play an apathetic frog. So the thing to pay attention to is these arrows. You want to get a combo of, of arrows. So like that works, and then I can just go ahead and attack him directly. So now we're making a defensive combo, which will actually raise our defense. Um, so I guess while we're just going through the tutorial here, uh, like I said, it's available on Steam, and of course I will, as always, link to... Okay, so you can actually revive cards, which is also pretty important. Um, so as always, I will link to the store page where you can buy it. It is uh, $4 normally, and it is on sale for the opening week for 2 bucks. so there's not much of a reason to not pick it up, I guess. Like, if you're into collectible card games, like, it's only two dollars, so. Alright, right, that's a tutorial. Now to battle this guy for real. Um, it doesn't have multiplayer, which may upset some people, but, I don't know, I have not found that to be an issue. Yet, I don't really mind that it doesn't have multiplayer. Okay, let's see. Let's put that right there. So, the thing to kind of pay attention to is that because of the way the arrows work really need to kind of pay attention to that in order to make a combo. So, 
I mean, I can do that. And like it said, um, you can make combos with different types of cards, and what it will actually do is go over, like, the most precedence. So I think, like, if you have two attack cards and one defense card, it'll do an attack. So if I do this, yep, I'm able to attack. But you saw it only did two attack, of course, because... Um, because, uh, I only had two attack cards. Oops, I accidentally let go there. I didn't actually mean to place that there. Because obviously that is, like, the most useful place in the world, right? Um, but speaking on the fact that there's no multiplayer... Um, like I said, that doesn't really bother me much. It actually reminds me a lot of, um... So I'm probably going to win here just because they won't be able to play a card. And that is another way to win. So, opponent could not play a card. So, um... Like, I wouldn't really compare this to something like... I wouldn't compare it to something like Magic the Gathering. It's, I think it's meant to be more of a kind of casual card game that is pretty easy going. Okay, sorry, this is my fish pun George. He runs away and chews on my cards sometimes. Say, is that a starter deck? Are you new in town? Yeah, I am. I knew it, but if you're going to play the card game, a starter deck won't do. So, this is cool. We do get little uh, packs of cards. Oh, and I can now say, because I played the first little bit of the game before recording the video that these are actually randomized. I saw one or two of these the last time I got this booster pack, but most uh, the rest of those were new. So this is a booster pack. It'll help you build better decks. Oh, I gotta go. We got a card club in school, so drop by sometime. Brack. Well, that was interesting. I guess I should check out my deck in the decks menu, then head to school. So. I actually didn't do this before, so hopefully it's not too complicated to kind of switch stuff out. Drag cards from your library from the, on the left to add them to a deck to the right. So as long as I have between 25 and 40, I'm fine, so I can just add some of the new ones I got. Um, yeah, I don't really have... Oh, right, I gotcha. So I don't have that. I will add that. Oh, gotcha, because those are already in my deck, that's why. I will say, the music in this is really, really nice. It's got kind of a, a jazz slash hip hop thing going for it, and I like that a lot. Um, so, since I've been a little off track here, I'll read through the dialogue here and then I will get back on track with what I was talking about. So this is actually... it'll do. <laughs> hey there, never seen you around before. What's your name? Indie Geek, eh? I'm Little Dude. I was just, I was just chatting with a pal here about the legendaries. <laughs> this dude's just sleeping. See, the Big Chess Casino is holding a competition and the prize is a million coins. Whoever gathers the eight legendary cards may battle the card king, the leader of Big Chess Casino, and win the prize if they beat him. But the legendaries are extremely rare, and the booster packs with them have already run out. I'm going to battle everyone until I win a copy of each legendary card. And then, I'll beat my old grandpa, the card king. If you're serious about the card game, you'd better try to find the legendaries too, or I'll beat you to it. Speaking of, I heard there's someone in a bar called the cave who found a legendary so yeah I'm going to uh, sorry so yeah I'm going home to perfect my strategy the million will be mine catch you later okay so now we can talk to people so what I was going to say is that um, what it reminds me a lot of is I believe on the original Game Boy there was a Pokemon trading card game, and rather than being like the regular Pokemon games, where it was like an RPG, they actually did a trading card game as a cartridge game that you could buy. 
So that was uh that you know, and that was like just single player, obviously. So that was uh that was kinda cool. And that's what this reminds me of, because it's it's like a, you know, it's just single player and it's just kind of an adventure card game. Which I think is pretty cool. I like it. Plus I love I love the art style of these guys. This seems like it'd be a good one to put right in the middle. So I can go like this. So like I said, it's not it's not complicated. It's I mean it's pretty easy, like even if you've never really played card games, which if you've watched my Hearthstone videos, um, I have not played many. Like I've said, my, my kind of past experiences with collectible card games, I had Pokemon cards as a kid, but it didn't really um actually wasn't big into like playing the game competitively against people and then in middle school I played some Yu-Gi-Oh but that is about it so I don't know why I put that there that was weird <clears throat> but I'm liking this a lot so far it kind of has like almost a kind of a tic-tac-toe vibe which is like a weird thing to say but I think just because the way the board works it, it reminds me a lot of tic-tac-toe that and I'll just go ahead and do that because then I can just take him out perfect Ooh. so what did I get Ooh, health potion nice <laughs> I love, uh, the dialogue is all really good. Of course, that kind of stuff was really good in, in It'll Do as well. And I think if, if you've played It'll Do, you probably are, are kind of used to kind of the wacky brand of, of humor that comes with this game. But yeah, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying my time. It is, it's nice to see, so I wonder, can I get another... Oh yeah, interesting. So I won't I won't fight her again right now, but I think I'll do this battle and then maybe kind of wrap it up. I don't know. Maybe I'll do one more. Get another booster pack, see if we can find some interesting cards. Okay, so I will do that. Yeah, like I said, I'm really digging the music. Um, let's see here. Let's put that there. <clears throat> and I also kind of like the, uh, the way the, the arrow system works with each card. I think that that just brings something a little different to it that... I haven't really seen in a, in a card game before. Oh, interesting. I actually didn't know that you could go and get more info on stuff. That's nice, actually. Um... Well, darn. <laughs>
So, let's see, how do I want to play this? Oh, man. I suppose I can't, like, yeah. Can't replace cards, so I guess I'll do that. That was weird. Oh, right, because it only takes two of those. That's actually nice, though. That That is a way to get rid of cards. Because as you saw in in one of the other ones I did, if you ever run out of cards, then it's just game over. Which obviously you don't want. So I will do this. So there's kind of that added bit of strategy as well, where you are trying to not completely run out of cards. Which becomes, um, I mean, in, in a way, it becomes just as important as how you actually use the cards you have, because like this, we, we are kind of just like holding out here to try and find who's going to screw up, really, and like not be able to play another card. Let's see. I guess I'll do that. Oh, whoa, that was out there. Okay, well, I can do that. And then I at least shouldn't lose. Yeah, I should be fine. Which is, uh, that's good. It doesn't matter at this point. Just play whatever. Woo! So yeah, I am going to wrap it up here. But, um... So like I said at the beginning of the video, I do have an extra copy to give away. Uh, kind of my final thoughts on the game. I am really having a good time with it. And I think... Especially if... Um... Especially if you, like, want to get into collectible card games. And maybe normally have a hard time remembering all the rules and stuff like this one's super simple it makes it very clear how everything works and it's one that you can pretty much pick up and in like five minutes be able to play and I like that a lot and especially if you want one that isn't like reliant on you being able to play multiplayer this is again a really good one because it's only single player um, and also like I said it, it's only dollars for the opening week sale so like if you are even like passively interest in uh, interested in collectible card games like pick it up it's it'd be silly to pass on it at this price like two dollars and the worst thing that happens is you, you play and you find out you don't really like it so but I am having a good time with it I recommend it to really anybody like if you if you like card games if you like kind of strategy games or if you just like kind of cute little characters that say funny things, also that, because it's good all around. It's got really nice music, really nice art. I love the art that these guys do. And uh, I highly recommend this game to really anyone. So, uh, like I said, 24 hours from when this video will go up, I will pick a comment and I will give them a copy of the game. So that will be fun so make sure you comment if you are interested in getting the game and other than that you know if there's anything else you want to comment on feel free to do that as well subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos every single day and if you like card city nights or if you like my let's look at series please consider clicking the like button because that could help me out a lot and i appreciate everything that you can do to help so with all of that being said i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time